it's actually quite a long walk um, to uh, the uh, Arabea Roman fort. That's the river there. You go up to the metro, which is where I've been, and then we've gone along here, up there, and we're now here at St Stephen's Garden, and it's through here basically. But quite a lot of marks now. <clears throat> at least going back, we're sort of doing a circle, town centre that way. We've arrived. Here it is. Arbea. Not a lot to it. It's literally the Barbican. It's just the front gate. There. Looks remarkably new, doesn't it? For them to say it's Roman, but there we are. We'll go and see if we can have a look, if it's open. This is interesting. What have we got here? All sorts of heritage routes and stuff. That's what it looks like. It used to look like. Inside. As you can see, it's just fields now. <laughs> Lovely. Visited uh, Sir Chidunnan this morning and at Wall's End, which is <coughs> which is the uh, official end of Hadrian's Wall. Uh, this was the fortress which was beyond that, because of course all that is on the north side where the wall was. This is on the south side. This was the and the others, that are no longer in existence, um, were supplied by some just beyond the west, inside, you can see the fortress is a little bit, they've recreated the headquarters building at that end, which is marvellous. Uh, they've got something else which is over there and they have a small museum in here and it's free it, and it's a good museum it's a brilliant museum very very impressed gate appeared to be new. It is in fact a reconstruction. This whole area is a reconstruction but this is built on the gate that was here in Roman times to the same specification so this is literally what it would have looked like you know about 1500 years ago. <laughs> Indeed. Shall we go inside? Go through the gates. Not quite sure why there's two. Maybe one's in, maybe one's out. But anyway. And that's it. We're into the fortress now. This is an example of a barracks block, which is basically um, houses a century. Each century is split into sections, and each section will have a room, and they will, uh, well, they will basically it's their room to have a little sleep. 
this is roughly what it would look like. You only get four or five people, so I imagine this is the uh, this is the one for the actual troops, and each section had a section leader, and this is probably the one uh, for the section leader because he would have one on his own, one presumes, slightly better than having to share with the other sort of four or five members. I think you're looking at a hundred um, to a century in the Republic, whereas you're looking to about 80 in the Empire, so <clears throat> this of course wasn't founded until the sort of Empire, so there we are. It depends, of course, on the date of the fort and all that sort of stuff. It also, of course, depends on who the, uh, the actual senior officer is. If it's, um, if there's actually a legion based in the, uh, fortress, then the commanding officer will be the legate, or the general, uh, if there are multiple legions around. If not, then it really depends. Most likely, if it's a garrison, a bit like this, sort of a permanent, they'll have a permanent staff here, and the camp prefect uh, will be in charge. Um, just have visiting um, sort of centuries through, in which case the most senior ranking centurion <coughs> will be here. They're all numbered, <laughs> but it could have been a whole number. Of that if, if you were, you know, the uh, the camp prefect, for example, and a certain legate turns up, you would have to give up your spot to them. and They were in fact lying down on couches when they uh, had their meals. I can't manage to eat properly without spilling stuff down me when I'm sat up, so God knows how they managed and I have a feeling uh, if I was to um, eat like that I would probably give myself heartburn, but there we are. area of South Shields. <clears throat> all the roads are like uh, named after all the emperors and all the uh, generals, you know, the conquesting generals and all the uh, governors. 
I mean, there we are. That's a perfect example. Let me just find where there we are. Trajan Street. We had uh, Agricola Court. We had, there's Claudius Court over there. Claudius, of course. best associated with the actual invasion. Didn't discover it, but uh, did return and conquer at least half of it. <coughs> uh, but oh, here we are. We've got Vespasian Street coming up here. <laughs> I wonder who will be next. Who would want to live on Nero Street? That's what you have to ask yourself. <laughs> 